Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Fleeing the Super Cities. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you upload a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Why are so many people fleeing the large super cities and metropolises? Well, there are a number of reasons. First of all, a lot of criminals are pouring into the large cities now by the tens of millions, and most are headed into the metropolises. There are so many of them pouring into the country now that in many places, sidewalks, police stations, school gymnasiums, uh, and other places uh, are being overcome and the people are just, you know, these people that come from out of the country are just laying on the floors. They're laying on the sidewalk. They're, they're, they're making these uh, facilities uninhabitable. Now, have you seen all the airports across the country where people are having difficulty getting to the plane because the floors are covered by homeless people who are sleeping everywhere and obstructing access to the gates? That's how bad this is. So what are some of the other problems that people are dealing with now that are causing them to flee the super cities? Well, one of the major problems uh, now is that millions of people are pouring into this country who have never learned how to drive a car, but they're still trying to drive them every day. Some of the cars they drive are borrowed, some are stolen, but they're still pretending like they can drive or hopefully teach themselves. And it just doesn't work that way. These people also almost never get a driver's license. If they drink and drive and smash into someone else's car, then they just drive away, regardless of the damage or the injuries to the other parties. In a number of states, now they don't even arrest people who are photographed by surveillance video cameras leaving the scene after they've hit somebody or killed somebody. It is amazing. Now, what are some of the other reasons people are pouring out of the super cities? Well, one of the reasons is financial. The mega cities are becoming increasingly unaffordable for people who come here from abroad or from the people who live here now. And they're also becoming increasingly tax hostile uh, to people, whether they're poor or whether they're wealthy. It doesn't matter anymore. They're trying to tax people into oblivion. Next is the religious component. Millions of Americans now find that uh, aggressively anti-religious hostility of the large megacities is very difficult for them to, to tolerate and continue residing in. Being religious in some major cities uh, or in the suburbs of those cities is now the cultural equivalent of being called a racist. They hate people who are religious. Now, what about shopping? If you live in one of the megacities, then you may walk outside one day and find out that you don't have a grocery store any longer. You may not have a drugstore nearby. You probably won't have a church left in your neighborhood. But you'll probably still have lots of liquor stores, massage parlors, and you may even have a casino within a few miles of you. Also, lots of strip clubs. You probably have to drive 10 or 20 miles to go to a bakery or a major movie theater. Your bank has probably closed. The ATM that was near your home may or may not continue working anymore. The schools your children attend in the inner city or even in the suburbs have probably turned into war zones. All of these diminished quality of life issues continue to worsen. The crime is getting worse. Financial issues are getting worse. All of these things are uniting to cause people to stampede out of the large cities. Where are they going? They're going to affordable and sane and low crime areas, places like the Deep South, parts of the Midwest, anywhere and everywhere that is more financially, culturally, and politically survivable compared to the insanity they see elsewhere in the country. Living in New York or LA or many of the other super cities is becoming so expensive now that people are just fleeing. Thank you for watching. Good luck. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.